Big Green is presented by... The Guam Community College's criminal justice program is thinking green with the introduction of the new Marine and Terrestrial Enforcement Concentration. Department Chair Peter Roberto. What it does is it expands workforce capacity and, and this time it looks at Marine Terrestrial, meaning that, um, as you know, that there are many laws governing um, the protection of our, our wildlife, not only on land but also on sea. So people don't know that, you know, with uh, law enforcement, there are poachers out there. And so that's a very specialized area of training. In fact, the, the purpose for this grant was at the request or in a collaboration with the Department of Agriculture about the need to train conservation officers, especially in deep jungle, deep ocean. And through this collaboration, um, it was also recognized that, you know, having equipment like this can also assist, you know, in not only expanding local workforce development, but also regional. And in the process of building our island's workforce, the program ensures that our environment and its resources are protected for the future. GCC has been moving a lot in the direction of sustainability, going green. And, and here, when you start to, start to think about uh, promoting environmental sustainability, that we need to protect our species because once it's gone, it's gone. And that even includes our, 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 our own um, type of uh, plants that are indigenous to this island and some of the animals too. He says this was made possible through the Carl D. Perkins CTE grant, which allows the college to not only provide training in the field, but also allows for the purchase of instructional equipment to include a 25-foot vessel, two vehicles, ATVs, jet skis, and corresponding gear. The program focuses on compliance with conservation laws, especially in protected areas on land and sea. There are poachers, poachers out there, so this is a very important to ensuring the sustainability of our environment. And so um, some of these indigenous species occur in deep jungles at different times of the day. So you need to ensure their protection and that's what this program will assist our students in learning to, um, you know, uh, address. With this week's Think Green, I'm Jolene Tovis. Think Green is presented by...